I think one of my first memories of ever wanting to get into the video creative and film industry was sitting down every evening and just watching music videos. Whether it was watching them on Much Music, MTV, or downloading them to my iPod Touch. Since then, I've had the opportunity to work on, plan, organize, and create music videos. And I wanna share my five tips for creating a successful music video. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on one particular music video that I shot this past summer with my good friend, Evan. We've been homies for a number of years and had the opportunity to shoot both photography and video projects together in that time. For this project, we had a super talented team around us of Brad doing all the behind the scenes and secondary video filming. We had Graham also doing behind the scenes, taking photos, helping organize everything and making sure everything went smooth. And we had Sophie who was doing all the behind the scenes photographs. This music video came to be in a very organic way. Evan and I were just having a few beers on the beach one day and just enjoying our afternoon when we both turned to each other and said this would be a great place to do a music video. Within three short weeks we were on set at 4 30 a.m. shooting this music video. The thought process behind this was we wanted to create something that was cinematic that had meaning and had just a really really rich feeling to it. Within those three short weeks we decided upon the props that we needed, the wardrobe, the setting, the time of day, and how the story was going to amplify the incredible music that we had to work with. Tip number one, finding great music. Finding an artist, music style, and song that you're passionate about will speak volumes in your work. I realize this sounds fairly self-explanatory in finding good music, but this is a key factor in ensuring that your work is amplified. Your filming, story, planning, wardrobe, props can be exquisite, but if the music isn't up to par, in some ways it will diminish your work. Tip number two, tell a story. A video without a story is just a compilation of shots. It doesn't tell you anything, it doesn't provide any meaning or depth. The whole premise of my most recent short film, Escaping Reality, was just to slow down, to catch my breath, and just enjoy the simple things and enjoy the slow pace and the slow nature of, you know, what a vacation was like. The story doesn't need to be complex, it can be very simple, but it needs to tell something to the viewer. The song likely has a story already, you just need to visually represent that story. One of the ways I get familiar and understand the song is just by listening to it a ton of times. I listen to it when I'm in the shower, when I'm at home hanging out, when I'm driving, just so I can understand that song and the complexity of it. Know what the meaning of the song is and the thought process. We're the visual storytellers, so tell the story. Tip number three. Create a mood board. This is so crucial to the success and organization of your music video. The mood board can have the locations, the mood and vibe you're trying to portray, contact information, the shot list and storyboard, photos and videos for reference. Share this with your team and the musician to add a level of professionalism and make sure everyone's on the same page. The mood board app that I use is called Millinote. I should be sponsored by Millinote. It has a desktop version where I create the mood board. I can share it with all my team members and the musician. Then I can download the app to my phone and I can have it on set with me. So I don't have to have my computer out with me. I can just quickly look at my phone, have a glance at the shot list or the storyboard, the location addresses and everyone's contact information. So everything is organized in one place and everyone has access to it. Tip number four, wardrobe, props, and location. All of these are crucial in the visual experience. The outfits need to make sense and be flattering to the talent. You also need to know if you're gonna be changing outfits throughout the shoot, are you gonna keep the same outfit throughout? How does that play into the story? Does that make sense throughout the video? All of these questions need to be answered in terms of wardrobe, and everyone needs to be on the same page with that. This also helps to have the mood board because you can have visual representation of you know what you're looking for or exactly what the person's gonna be wearing, when they're gonna be wearing, it so everyone again is on the same page and it all makes sense with the overall story of the music video you need to know if you're using the same location the whole time are you changing locations where the addresses of these locations are what time of day is best to use these locations in terms of traffic and lighting and just the overall vibe that you're trying to create with your music video. Is the talent interacting with any props? Where are you getting these props? What do these props look like? All of these things can be added to the mood board, but also make sure everyone's on the same page with it so it again makes sense with the music video and amplifies your content by having these props. Tip number five, do multiple takes. I realize this sounds self-explanatory, but this is something that I need to remind myself to do as well. We've all been in the situation where we've been burned by, yeah, that was a perfect take. Yep, got the shot, that was great move on, let's do the next shot. Then you get home and you look at the footage and you're like, damn, I kind of wish I had done that one more time. There was maybe a little bit of camera shake where the talent had just moved its view off of the camera or there was a blink. Something out of your control happened, like maybe a cloud passed by or a bird flew overhead or you know a car honked in the distance or you know whatever it is. But there's always something with the shot that if you'd just taken the time and done the extra take, 
Maybe it's an even better take than the original one, or maybe it's just a backup. Always take the extra step and do one more shot on top of your already perfect take. You'll thank yourself later for it. Essentially, my biggest takeaway is to be organized and tell a story. Have fun with what you're going to create and make the experience surreal for everybody involved. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate all the love and support I've been getting on the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe, like the video, share this with any like-minded people that you may think would enjoy this content, and I will see everybody in the next video. Peace and love, y'all.